Assalamualaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are absolutely fine. As you see the diagram on screen, that is of endocrine glands in human body. So different glands are showing there with proper labeling. As we discuss the thyroid gland, which is present in neck region, so it is shown there. And pituitary gland as well, which is present here, as well as pancreas, its location has also been indicated. Moreover, adrenal glands, ovaries, testes, they all have been indicated in this diagram to make sure the location of these glands in human body. These all are endocrine glands as you already have discussed. Next, students, the last topic of the chapter coordination and control is disorders of nervous system. How many types of disorders of nervous system are there? Disorders of nervous system can be categorized into two main types. Write the two main types of disorders of nervous system. The answer to this question is number one, vascular disorders and number two, functional disorders. The question may be asked in the form of write two types of disorders of nervous system. Then first type is vascular disorder for example paralysis and second type is functional disorder for example epilepsy and we will discuss these two types further before discussing these two disorders we will define vascular disorders in proper way define vascular disorders vascular disorders are due to any disturbance in the blood supply to nervous system define functional disorders functional disorders are due to disturbance in nerve impulse generation and transmission. This is the basic difference. They may ask the question in the form of what is the difference between or differentiate between vascular and functional disorders then you have to write from vascular disorders to transmission. Moving towards the important MCQs, the disorders of nervous systems can be categorized into two main types. Epilepsy is an example of functional disorder. The example of vascular disorder is paralysis. Another MCQ includes any disturbance in blood supply to nervous system is called vascular disorder. The last MCQ on this page is if the disturbance occurs in nerve impulses, generation and transmission, then it is functional disorder. Next, students, next is the paralysis, which is a nervous disorder under discussion. First of all, the question is, define paralysis right in its causes. Paralysis is the complete loss of function by one or more muscle groups. It is most often caused by damage to central nervous system, brain or spinal cord. The damage may be due to stroke, rupture in blood vessel of brain or spinal cord, blood clotting in these blood vessels or poison produced by polio viruses. This is the definition and causes of paralysis. Moving towards the important MCQs. First MCQ is taken from the definition of paralysis. Paralysis is the complete loss of function by one or more muscle groups. Patient may have weak paralysis throughout his or her body or have paralysis in one side of body. The last MCQ is, there may be paralysis in lower extremities or in all four limbs. Alright students, this paragraph also contains another short question like define stroke and the definition of stroke has been written 
in the parenthesis stroke is the rupture in blood vessel of brain or spinal cord this is the definition of stroke next the last nervous disorder is epilepsy what is epilepsy the first question on this page epilepsy is a nervous disorder in which there is abnormal and excessive discharge of nerve impulses in brain it causes unprovoked seizures in patient a seizure of epilepsy is a temporary abnormal state of brain marked by convulsions this is the exact definition of epilepsy next question is write the causes of epilepsy answer this question starts from in younger people epilepsy may be due to genetic or developmental causes in people over age 40 years brain tumors are more likely to cause epilepsy head trauma and central nervous system infections may cause epilepsy at any age these are the causes of epilepsy the last question on this page is right cure for epilepsy very important short question there is no known cure for epilepsy but medicines can control seizures patients of epilepsy have to take medicines daily for the treatment as well as prevention of seizures these are termed anticonvulsant or anti epileptic drugs this is a cure for epilepsy moving towards the important mcqs epilepsy causes unprovoked seizures in patient in younger people epilepsy may be due to genetic or developmental causes another important mcq is in people over age 40 years brain tumors are more likely to cause epilepsy next mcq is there is no known cure of epilepsy but medicines can control seizures the last mcq is the medicines taken for the treatment of epilepsy are termed as anticonvulsant or anti epileptic drugs all right students we have completed the chapter coordination and control today alhamdulillah okay thank you students.